everyone, Larry back with you again, and what I'm uh, working on today is just some odd and end things. Uh, first of all, we're getting a uh, Generac uh, whole house generator installed. Uh, the guys came and uh, poured the pad for that a few days ago. We're going to show a little bit of video of, of that, and uh, may try to uh, chronicle some of the installation if we possibly can. Don't know if we'll be able to do that with our regular jobs or not. But anyway, also we got a uh, uh, outdoor faucet that has started uh, uh, really leaking on us. We can't get it to turn off, so I'm going to be working on that. That's going to involve going under the house and and uh, assessing what the situation is down there as far as re possibly re replacing the entire faucet or maybe for now just putting a shutoff valve on it. So uh, that's what we're working on. Come on, join us. I appreciate you uh, uh, connecting with us here on St. Nick's Farms. Let's get started. I have this old hose on this faucet and what I did was put the nozzle on the end of it just to uh, try to create me a, a shut off and the hose as you can see here sprung a leak and so now it's uh, putting out quite a bit of water there and what I've decided to do is go ahead and and take the, uh, you can see the water's coming out here around this uh, handle lever. And this, this goes back through to the back and uh, shuts the water off back inside the uh, crawl space of the house. That, that causes it to be a frost proof or a, a freezeless faucet. And what I've decided to do is to just go ahead and take it out and take it with me so I can make sure I can get the right size. And I know some of you might think, well, you can take this apart here and replace some of the um, washers back up in here. But because of the way this is just continuing to turn it won't it will not stop turning 
and that may be because that washer doesn't go in tight enough I don't know for sure how that works but I've just decided that I'm going to go ahead and and just replace the uh, the entire faucet and maybe be done with it so to speak so they got the bag screws out and that should be and it is it is free now I'm going to take this um, hose off I think what I'll do is go ahead out to the meter and just go ahead and and turn the water off at the meter and uh, then I can work on this and don't have to worry about the water continuing to leak anymore you can see down in here now the meter itself and what I've got here is a homemade uh, shut off wrench I'm just going to take this and go down over the over the valve here I'm going to go down over this valve and give it a twist and that will cut the water off so there shouldn't be any more water going through the system and we'll go down here and the water has stopped I'm going to take this hose off get a pair of channel locks and it was pretty tight I don't think I could have started that with my hand but let's see if we can get this the rest of the way off now by hand and get this old piece of hose pipe out of the way so now I'm going back onto the floor and going to uh, take this faucet loose underneath the floor then I'll take the whole thing to our to my building supply, s and building supply and see if I can find one that's the same length to be able to replace this one with. That is loose, so I'm going to go back up now and see if I can get that faucet to unscrew just by holding maybe by holding that against the the decking of the floor it'll hold it enough to be able to twist that faucet out so let's go see how that works okay let's see if we can uh, turn this and I believe it's going to come loose. Yes, and it did. Thank you, dear Lord. The faucet. Going to run up to the bill and supply now and see if we can find a replacement. So, we'll do this and we'll be right back. Well, here's the situation we got now. Uh, the old pipe was, um, as you can see, it was this wide. The new, and I'm sure it's a cost-saving measure on the part of the manufacturers now, but the, uh, the new 
is quite a bit narrower. Um, it's actually about a quarter to a three eighth. Well, that's about a half an inch narrower. And going in the hole, um, it doesn't line up with the existing with the existing um, anchors that are in the wall. So I've got to figure out some way now to modify this. And I think I'm going to do that with a different type of fastener if, if I possibly can. When you have a situation like this with the pipes that are kind of cut out and you don't have a lot of space to flex the pipe enough to be able to make the connection that is to get one piece in and then to be able to get it inserted into other to each of the um, sections as you can see here the um, the piece of pipe that I just installed now will have to go into the upper elbow and 
just making sure that I had enough space that was flexed out to be able to um, get this piece in to the elbow. Putting on the um, the purple uh, pre-treatment for the pipe and then put the glue on and fortunately as you can see here there was enough room to be able to get the pipe inserted and make the connection okay. What I think that I can do to help support uh, this faucet is to come in here with a piece of board that will fit here and I can wedge it pretty tight and get it fastened in place. And then I'll come in here with another piece underneath with a little cutout for this. And I think I can wedge this pretty tight from underneath. And that should give me sufficient. So there you have it, folks. <laughs> I'm going to wrap this video up here. I appreciate so much you joining us. Under Here we're closing out under the floor of our home and uh, I've been replacing this outside faucet that was leaking so bad. So uh, I appreciate so much you joining us here on St. Nick's Farms. I hope this has in some way been interesting to you and for you or helpful for you. Uh, maybe give you an idea on something that you need to uh, try to replace or correct in the future. So until next time, folks, this is Larry. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you do like the video. Share it with a friend. Leave a comment down below. So until next time, this is Larry. Have a great one, everybody. See you. Bye-bye.